If you down, I could take you on a cruise. If you down, I might put an ass on snooze. If you down, maybe we could break the rules. If you down, just let me know, yeah. If you down, let me feel so sure I'm with you. Like baby, when I fall, you pick me up. Like you bless me with all your love. Yo, what up, what up, what up? It's your boy Lance here with my fiance. Sheena. And we are doing a mukbang. But before we get to that, we have a few things we need to get out of the way, don't we, baby? Yes, we do. So I told you guys that um, we would do post uh, notification shout outs to the first person that comments on our videos once they drop. Um, but there's not a whole lot of people that are commenting on our videos right now so we figured we'd do like the first three people that commented on our videos um just so to make it fair because there are some people that that have been commenting on our videos like first for like the last like six so our first shout out goes to katrina katrina thank you for being part of the crew um our second one goes out to sarah ronalds Sarah Reynolds, thank you for being part of the crew. All right, now we got DQ, OFA10, and one more. Deanna Williams. And nice. There's, there's always everyday egg flip. You everyday egg flip. Boy. What's up? Uh, by the way, every I day like on your here. name. Yes, he does. That's funny. He likes it so much, he was saying it in his sleep today. <laughs> yeah, she was like, wait, you know her as the wife? I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> All right, so we have right here, what do we have right, right here? Here baby? we got ourselves some delicious Franco's pizza. Mm. This pizza has Alfredo, pepperoni, mushroom, Best onion, pizza in the world, guys. Ham, mushroom, and then we Mine have, has the same, but I add sausage on mine because their sausage is amazing. Yeah, because she loves sausage. Mm -hmm. Then we have an awesome salad here. This salad contains chicken, broccoli, lettuce, cheese, tomatoes, yellow pepper, green pepper, yes. banana pepper, everything. And now ranch dressing. Everything delicious. So basically, what we're gonna do is <laughs> we weren't quite so sure on the whole mukbang thing. Like I know, like I used to watch a girl. Um, she literally was like, oh, I have an extra plate. Great. Um, like she would just chomp her food. Like it was really, she was an Asian girl. Oh, yeah. um, really, really loud. She didn't talk. She just chewed, 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 chewed. But people loved it. I they don't did. get it. I was so I, confused when I spoke. So I was like, is this what this video is really about? And she was like, yep. Yeah. And she watches them all now. Yeah, I haven't watched her in a while though, guys. Um, But this is empty. Mm. That's funny. Huh. Um, So, we like talking and we like engaging with you guys. So we are pretty much going to be talking about, if you've been watching our channel, you've heard us talk about sobriety, um, being clean. Um, I've given you guys a little bit of information on how me and Lance like met, like the basics and stuff. But we really wanna go into detail with you guys because <laughs> we feel like our story can be in like inspiring to other people. Um, it can, for sure. I was a little bit hesitant to share right away with you guys because I wanted you guys to get to know us a little bit more outside of like, you know, the negative. We still want our page to be uplifting, a very uplifting page. So this is going to be an uplifting story because everything's went up since we've met. Like sure. everything's gotten better. So basically, um, if you guys read or if you guys watch my video about my ex 18 year domestic violence relationship or toxic relationship as I call it um then you know hold on I gotta take a bite of this because it's looking hella good mm. anyway I forgot napkins um I grabbed you one. Oh, you did nice no. so um, I was with my kids' dad for 18 years I met him when I was like 16. A baby. I was a baby. Yes. Um, he was four years older than me. I wasn't allowed. Five. Yeah. I wasn't allowed to leave the house with him. 
until I was 18. My parents really didn't care for him. They didn't want me to date him. But then they, like, like I said, they gradually, like, built a relationship. And then we have four kids together. The relationship ended tragically because of domestic violence. And it was just a really unhealthy relationship. Um, our fourth baby, um, I had lost in my third trimester um, because of heart conditions. Um, two of my living kids also have heart conditions. Um, so pretty much when I was in the hospital, when I lost my son, I was in there for about three months. I had a lot of complications like bowel obstruction, um, high blood pressure. I had um, blood clots. It was really bad. Um, I was on a lot of strong pain medications and I was also grieving the loss of my son at the same time. And my relationship with my kid's dad was not the greatest. Moral of the story is I ended up getting addicted to pain medication. Um, I wasn't addicted for very long, about nine months to maybe a little over a year. I realized it was a problem, so I went into rehab. And then his story will also lead to him going into rehab. My turn? Yep. Wow. Well. Mm. That story is so okay. tough. I go way, 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 way back. The back when I used to play football in high school and I hurt my back. That's when I first started taking opiates. I liked the feeling of them. Um, so I would take them. I would steal them from my dad. And because he had morphine because he was on disability for his back. Um, I liked them. I took them all the time buy them but I never really took them enough to get addicted like there was I didn't need them you know and it really didn't get bad until I was about I would say 19 years old and then I started like using them all the time because I hurt my arm playing football my shoulder playing football and so I use that as an excuse to get oxys and all sorts of stuff. And so I would take those, get messed up. You know, I would take a bunch of benzos, like Xanax and Klonopin with them. So I wouldn't even like be able to remember what happened the whole week before. And it just led to a lot of bad shit. Um, I went to rehab a few times back in 2015. Out in California, I loved it out there. I probably would have stayed, but my daughter was here. I had responsibilities here, so I came back not clean and sober. But then I went to jail, went to rehab again after I completed drug court. I was sober for two years. And then I relapsed. Right when I got done with drug court, I thought, hey, this is a smart idea. I'll go steal my girlfriend, or my wife at the time's pain medication that her mom was keeping from her mouth surgery she had a few months ago. She's not using it, why shouldn't I, you know? My back's hurting, why can't I? And that from there just went downhill real quick, went back to heroin, went back to fentanyl, shooting it up real quick. Overdose three times. The last time, I it was almost like a spiritual awakening. Like I remember seeing myself laying there out as the paramedics were above me, like working on me, talking to me, like like I could see my body lying there in my kitchen. And then I woke up, and that was the last time I used heroin like that. But then me and my ex-wife got in a really bad fight a couple weekends, like a month or two later, which led me to um, um, go to jail for a while, for like a week. And because my parents wanna bail me out till they got me into rehab. That was always their thing. We're not getting you out just so you can go on the street and get high, blah, blah, blah. Well, I was getting high in jail too, but. Which is smart. 
that they left that you That is in very smart. It's very, very smart of my parents, you know. And I understood. I mean, I didn't want to be a drug addict anymore at that time. And there was just nothing left of my life. I lost everything. My daughter, my dog, my house, my wife, all gone like that. Right before my eyes, it was all gone in a split second. So I went to rehab. So and this was back in 2018, April 4th of 2018 was the last time I ever used. Yeah, and I went in March 28th, um, the same year, yep. same rehab facility. And when I went in, I was already separated from my kids' dad. <clears throat> I had left him like a month and a half before that. I was still living with him, but my parents were the only people I had, but they moved to Florida. I had a storage unit. I had bought like all new furniture. I was planning my escape, basically. My my run of. Robbed all the he went to yeah. Unit. He went to my storage unit and he took everything. Um, so when I met Lance, um, I didn't feel like I was tied down at all because I had left my ex and I was never married to him. We were engaged. We were together for 18 years. But when you leave somebody, you're done. Yeah. Um, and I met Lance. We became really good friends. Um very very good friends and we talked for a while even after rehab and we eventually grew a really close relationship and we've been together for three years now we've both been clean for almost three years now too yeah she came and lived with me at my mom's house for a while stayed in the basement and the couch mm -hmm. until we really got to know each other and then we were in the same room but. looking back i wish i could have done like leave him differently because when I left, I left with just a bag of clothes. Um, my kids were, my kids were still in school. And, um, when I left my ex, he didn't know <clears throat> that I was talking to a guy. So the agreement was that I get on my feet. He was actually being pretty cool about it, but I get on my feet and then the kids come with me once they're out of school and because he thought you were going to go back to him yeah and when he found out that i was actually talking to lance that's when he kidnapped my children um come through your storage unit yeah um so uh scared them into submissive or scared them what is that submissive scaring them scared them into some so much submission. that they were scared to answer the door for their mother yeah um mental abuse uh uh, phys Total. not physical, but, um, lied and lied, lied about everything, everything. She was doing, we were doing, told them millions of just made up yeah. bullshit cockamamie lies. So, um, I ended up hiring an attorney like that. Um, it was, even though I had full custody, full legal, physical, soul custody, listen, people that don't matter. Um, the system is messed up. Um, so I went, I called the cops. They would go over with me to get my kids and they would act like they were there to help me remove my kids from that home. And they'd be like, well, we can't force them out. Um, even though I had legal, physical, sole custody, those were my kids. He didn't have anything to them. Um, Just an affidavit of parenting. Yep. Yeah, um, well, that's what I had. Uh, so I hired an attorney, spent thousands and thousands of dollars worked out in the best interest of the children. Um, he eventually got nabbed for truancy. They were not getting an education for a year. He pulled he them out of school for a whole year. He had them pretty much locked up like dogs. Um, in the attic. So, I got the kids back. They've been living with me. They've been doing amazing, um, of course, because, you know, that's what I want for my children. And we all have very good relationships. It's almost like I never, it's almost like none of that ever even happened. My kids eventually came around and the blindfolds came off. So, my kids are amazing. Lance's daughter is amazing. Lance is amazing. We have this blended family and everything is just, you can turn your life around. I, I went from 18 years toxic horrible relationship being abused verbally physically um addicted to 
my whole life has changed. And if I would have stayed using, I'd be dead by now. I already know that for a fact. He probably would be dead now, and who knows what would be going on with me? I'd probably still be using her dead too. But um, so that to the But anyway, so um, if you women don't don't settle. If it, a man's getting them, leave. Just fucking leave. It ain't worth it. it even ain't it, worth it. And, then, and there's so many resources out there. So many. Um, you know, there's women's shelters that will take you in. If you're afraid, find somebody that you can confine them. Men will say whatever they can to scare you to stay. Oh, yeah, they will. They just passed this new law few years ago well i don't even know if it was a few years ago but if a woman leaves a man who has been physically abusive to her and obviously record of it for the first three months after you leave that man you are allowed to carry around a concealed weapon for your protection go to the police station um i talk more about it on my instagram and i'm going to talk more about it on my youtube channel but I want this to be uplifting. You know, our lives have changed so much. We're both very healthy, happy. Our children are healthy, happy. And it just goes to show that miracles do happen. That's and, right. Nobody thought we would last. Mm -hmm. Here we are, three years later, doing better than ever. Mm -hmm. Haters gonna hate. People have their perception on things. You know, I've had people you know, frown at me because I'm dating a man that I met in rehab. It just goes to show that we are both there to change our lives. To at least try. I mean, sometimes it takes people a couple of times before they, they stay clean. But what matters is that they did it. Yeah, and you I know? feel like it's made me and Sheena more open and honest with each other because right from the jump, we were hearing each other's faults, what our issues were, you know. And mm -hmm. Now we can talk, talk honestly and openly about literally anything and not be scared. And we obviously are just like any other couple. Our relationship's not perfect. We argue just like family friendships, friendships, relationships. But I'd rather be here than there. That's for sure. Me too. Um, and like my dms are always open if there's any women out there that want to reach out to me that are if you're in an abusive relationship just please reach out to me or struggling with addiction yeah and men hey reach out to me if you need an outlet mm -hmm. i'm there to listen pizza is so good so then, if you live in Michigan, you need to go to Franco's Pizzeria. Yeah, it's in Florida. We're not advertising. We are not kidding you guys when we tell you we eat this every single night when we get home from work. This is not an advertisement, or we're not trying to like we're upsell. For this advertisement. No, we just really love the food. Huh. It's so fire. Mm -hmm. Authentic Italian recipes from Sicily. And get this, we eat the same pizza with the same toppings every single night. Almost. <laughs> Occasionally we'll switch it up and eat like a cheese pizza, but 99% of the time it's this Alfredo pizza that he makes with pepperoni on it and it's so good. It's not on our menu, but if you call for a Lan ask for Lance's secret pizza, we got you. I actually sold one the other day to a guy and he called back and was like, thank you so much. Like that was so good. He, I don't think he got it just like ours, but he got pepperoni with Alfredo, Alfredo. dressing. Mm -hmm. So, what is everybody planning for Valentine's Day? You got a sweet someone that you want to buy some sweet something for? I'm taking her to the hot tub garden. A woo, a woo. Mm -hmm. a woo. Yeah. I'm stumped this year on what to get Lance. I, I don't know what to get you neither. Send me some ideas, ladies, mm -hmm. for her. Duh. You don't need your help. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She's right. I don't. I'm a good flowers. Flower. Flowers are fine. 
You know I like flowers. I also like making messes stuff. Um. So yeah, that's how me and Lance actually met Matt. And we um, gone all different from my bubbles. And he is a silly ass dude. <laughs> You know something else cool about Lance is I've never seen a family so close in my life. How his mom is with him is how I'm about to be with my son Blake. She is like so affectionate, so sweet. I've admired their relationship since I met him. He's spoiled. We'll just put it that way. <laughs> Oh, no. He's a mommy's boy. But his family is so close. And his family welcomed me and my kids in. Like, we've been here. Like your mom's family. They've been so good to my family. Which is really comforting because the only family me and my kids have is my parents. Because I don't really have a big family. And my parents live in Florida. And my, one of my brothers is still struggling with addiction to this day. And then my other brother, sister, it's actually my sister, um, you know, they're busy with their life and we don't live close. And then that's really it. I don't really have any family. So it's really nice to have Lance's family. Me and his mom talk all the time. She's a sweetheart. Mm -hmm. You having fun over there? You full? Getting full. We were gonna have a pizza eating competition, but then we were like, we already know who can eat more. Yeah, and if I eat too much, I'll get sick. And I won't get this video uploaded tonight. These booties though on TV. Ooh. Not as good as that booty though. Um, so yeah, nobody ate the big tomato. I know. Well, you better eat your tomato. Uh, you really want to? Uh -huh. <laughs> Here, I'll eat one too. That's a big tomato. Mm. Am I doing it right? Uh -huh. Oh, look at this piece of chicken, you guys. Mm. I'm getting full, you guys. Um. So, I just ordered like 20 items from Cheyenne, 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 Romay, Cheyenne. And people always say they're a hit and miss, which they are. Boy, get up. <laughs> they are a hit and miss, but every item I ordered that just came in my order today was really good. I like their stuff. Um... They're, it's reasonable price too. If you shop there, you know what I'm talking about. It's like this little jacket was like $4. Yeah, that's cute. Thank you, Bubba. About ready to wrap this up, Mama? I think so. I am full. Oh, well, me too. And that if you guys want to see this if video you guys tonight, like these, we'll do more. We just no. don't know if you like them or not. So comment on this. Let's get like 15 likes. Turn on your post notifications. If you're not subscribed, make sure you do. Yes, sir. And make sure you share us with everybody, including your cat and your dog. That's <laughs> right. They would enjoy us yeah. too. Mac and Hopper love us. Don't they do. get us wrong. <laughs> All right, guys. We're about to end this. I'm about to burp, and I'm trying to hold it in so I don't burp. <clears throat> oh. They just come out of nowhere. Um. So I'm about to burp again, you guys. Sorry. All I right. I cannot hold in my burps because it makes my stomach hurt. My or not my stomach, my chest. All right. This girl's very gassy, y'all. All right, guys. We love you. Peace out, y'all. Bye. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Peace.